Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video series we're gonna talk about how you can build your game for Android phones, how you can create different Android virtual phones in your PC and how you can test it on them. Why we should test our game on different phones? Because different phones have different RAMs, different GPU, different CPU and different sizes. Most important one is different sizes. So you should check your game with a lot of phones with different RAMs, with different CPUs with, and with different GPUs and of course different sizes to make sure that your game run on all the phones out there. So in part one we're gonna talk about how you can set up your game maker to be able to build your game for Android and the, in the next one I will show you how you can create all phone sizes on your PC so you will be able to test your game on a lot of phones without buying any phones so without any further ado let's begin part one so you can see i have this project that i downloaded from marketplace it's a free project so first thing that you need to have is the license for building android games so if you don't have one please just go and purchase license from yoyo games for game maker to be able to build for android and after you did that you should install some stuff before you will be able to build your game for android just open your browser and search for developer.android.com slash studio and download android studio and install it in a solid on drive D, not your Windows drive. Why? Because the Android SDK will be installed with this Android Studio. SDK is the tools that you use to download build tools for Android and images to run emulators. So it takes a lot of spaces. So please don't put it on your Windows drive. Just put it on another drive that you have enough space. After that, just go to oracle.com and download the latest version of java development kit and you can see in here and you can see there is three versions here one is for linux another one for mac os and another one for windows select the one that you need and download it and install it because this jdk is just 170 megabyte you can install it on drive c and i recommend it to install it on drive c and after that just go to developer.android.com slash ndk slash downloads and in here you can see there is three options to download your ndk one for windows one for mac and one for linux just download the version that you need and extract it on any drive but not on windows drive so after you install all of this you can open your android studio when you open your android studio you will see this as a welcome to android studio first thing to do you should go to configure and select sdk manager and in sdk manager just wait this looking for update to finish its job and after that just select this checkbox in here and it will show you whatever each api have so api 31 have a android sdk platform 31 and let's just expand this for you to see google api arm 64 and system image what system image is the system image is those files that android emulator use to create a virtual android phones if you want to test your game on api level 31 the latest api you can download android SK platform 31 and one of these images it doesn't matter which one you use because game maker can build your game to all of this system so you can see the version that i downloaded is android sdk platform 31 and android sdk platform 30 and this image here but you can install any of these that you want if you want to test your game on android tv of course you can download this but if you want to test your game on phones you can download this one here and you can see this is android 10 plus that has api level of 30 and this is android 10 and its api level is 29 i did download android 9.0 it's sdk platform 28 i downloaded android sdk platform 28 
and one of its images after you install these android scope platforms and one of the images and after that if you want to test your game in all the apis out there just download for each one of these api levels just download one image for each one of them and in part two i will show you how you can create a virtual android phones with them after you download everything that is needed here go to sdk tools let me uh, again select this checkbox in here and you can see all the android scott build tools in here build tools version 31 build tool version 30 and you can see what versions i i have downloaded i will show you how you can download it of course first i want to show you what it is and after that make sure that android emulator is installed and you can see that by default it is installed and after that android scott platform tools it's installed by default but if it has any update just update it and the next important thing to download is this intel x86 emulator accelerator okay so you should definitely download this so let me show you how you can download any of this so let's say i want to download one of these images just click on this tick in here when you click on this checkbox there will be a download icon here you shouldn't click on this you should just go and click on ok and it will say what is the download size and if you want to download it click on ok so head to click on ok so it will start downloading it and you can put it on the background because it will be downloaded automatically and it will be extracted automatically as well so let's hit that and we are done with sdk everything is finished and now we should set up our game maker so let's just go to game maker and in here first thing to do you should go to files go to preferences go to platform tools go to android and you can see first of all you should set the path for android sd card location the important thing is in here you see that i put my sd card in the root of drive d not the windows drive drive d it's better to put the sd card in the root of your drive so it won't give you any error i remember back in days if there is an space in your path your project won't compile and and there won't be any error you don't know why what is the problem and after that just set the android ndk the location to where you extract that ndk tools the java jdk location just set it like this if you install it on drive c or your windows drive after you did all of this just go down and in here just fill all of these text boxes your name your password your alias your alias password your country your location organization and so on after that just hit generate key store and store it somewhere safe you can import it in whatever computer that you install game maker on and all of this field will be filled with your information after that you should hit ok and the next thing that you should do just go to game option go to android and in android you should set the version your package domain package company package product and the build setting if you remember from sdk let me again show you go to sdk tools and in here you can see i downloaded android sdk build tools 31 30 21 and 28 i did download all of this and with that i can select 31 i think 29 28 whatever i did download it so the compile sdk is the sdk that you want to build your game with it is the same as these build tools here after that the minimum sdk or minimum api level that can install your game on their phones every phones that have api level greater than 16 will be able to install and run your game let's just go down now to architecture the important things you can see there is four type of systems out there four type of cpu out there so you should select all of them so every phone out there will be able to install your game after this just hit ok and you are finished with that after you did all of that just go to targets in here select on it click on android and in android you can select which emulator or phone you want to install it on for getting the list of devices just click on device editor and in here i want to clear this first and in here just select detect devices and it found those three emulator that i create in here and after it find it click ok but if you hit ok there will be a problem you see i click on ok but nothing happened 
what is the problem? The problem is the display name of this emulator and this emulator are the same. So you should change that. I want to say this one 01 and this one 02 and know when you click on OK, everything should be OK. And know you can select whichever you want and install your game on that. So let me install it on the first one, hit run in here. And you can see that we run our game on the first emulator here. Because I don't want my videos to be long, I stop this video over here. And in the next video, I will show you how you can create and config all the phones out there and create those phones as a virtual Android phones in your PC or Linux or Mac to test your game on them. So please hit that subscribe button and bell button if you want to see all of the, those videos first. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.